CBS history. Our board chair, Ruben McDaniel, and the current members of this Board of Education for their moral support and interest in this project and their understanding when they would call the office and I would be off at a scavenger hunt at an old school or a warehouse looking for artifacts. So I do thank you. To Superintendent Errol Davis and to Associate Superintendent Steve Smith, when I raised my hand and asked for this project, you said, go ahead. And I do appreciate the faith that you have in the board for carrying this through. For obvious reasons, I'd like to recognize our CFO, Chuck Burbridge. Thank you for working with me, Chuck. <laughs> <laughs> to my staff, now we at APS had the pleasure of rehiring the first female archivist in Atlanta Public Schools, Ms. Cappy Levin. Stand, Cappy. Her wealth of knowledge on the history of Atlanta Public Schools has proved and continues to prove invaluable to this project. I'd like to thank Eddie Robinson. Eddie, you've always been willing to do whatever it took to get this job done, so I thank you for your efforts. You're a valuable asset to the team. I'm really pleased that all of you are here today to join us. Uh, as we gather uh, to celebrate uh, our history, uh, I can't help also but to consider uh, our future. Uh, we finished uh, graduation ceremonies a week or so uh, ago. Uh, we had over 2,000 or just about 2,000 graduates uh, from our system uh, this year. I went to, uh, I missed one, but uh, I made every other one, and we also had our first GED uh, graduation ceremony this year, and I was particularly pleased uh, to attend that. Uh, so far, uh, our Two th our nearly 2,000 graduates uh, have accumulated over a hundred million dollars in scholarship. Uh, uh, APS continues to be the number one producer of Gates Millennium Scholars uh, of any system in the state uh, of Georgia. Uh, we are number three uh, in the country uh, in terms of African-American Gates uh, Millennium Scholars uh, uh, as well. The, uh, I believe it was Santana School System. Uh, so I'm gonna read that for you, and uh, Mr. Davis, I want you to pay close attention to this. Uh, this is, it's important. Uh, whereas, whereas the success and perpetuity of free institutions depend upon the virtue and intelligence of the people, and the system of education known as the public school system has been proved by all experience to be the best calculated to promote those, these objectives. And the growth and prospective population of our city urgently demand the establishment of, here's your point, a cheap and efficient system of education. <laughs> be it therefore resolved that this, that his honor, the mayor, and two members of council be appointed a committee to act in concert with seven citizens, friends of education, to be elected to by said committee to investigate the subjects of public schools for the city of Atlanta and obtain all necessary information on that subject and report the result of their investigations to council by the 1st of December next. This was uh, made by Mr. Daniel O'Keefe, who was president of the city council, September 24, 1869. And that was the origin, uh, origin of the Atlanta public school system. And a few years later, in, 19, in 1872, about 20... I'm really excited for the work that uh, you've done, Howard, Dr. Grant, uh, and I think we have to give credit. I think you mentioned to your assistant, Carmen, for all the work that she did in making this project a reality. But this is a, an opportunity for us to convene, an opportunity for us to come together, an opportunity for us to share in our history uh, as we embrace it, as we understand it, as we accept it. Fetch rose from meager beginnings, eventually establishing a prosperous tailor shop on Peachtree Street in Atlanta. On December 7, 1870, he was one of the two African Americans elected to the Atlanta City Council. Two years prior to Atlanta Public Schools opening its first school in January 1872. He represented Fort Ward, the cradle of the Civil Rights Movement. Councilman Finch was a champion for education. During and after his tenure as an elected politician, 
He fought to improve schools for black students and to have a high school either built, either constructed or housed in an existing building. Councilman Finch fought for more public education funding for all children. Through 1947, when the name was changed to honor Atlanta Constitution journalist and promoter of the New South, Henry Woodfin Grady. After the name change, the school became co-ed with students from Girls High School. The school's newspaper was renamed The Southerner as a tribute to Grady's award-winning career as a journalist. The Southerner is a monthly newspaper written by Grady students and has been in publication since 1947. The paper has won numerous awards, such as the Pacemaker Award and the Quill and Scroll Award. As rising senior, you know, uh, I appreciate this invitation. Um, you know, I came to APS in 1972, and uh, I immediately fell in love with the students here in Atlanta Public Schools. And uh, I'm still working with them. You can tell I still love them. But, you know, in college, I learned a lot about my discipline. But when I came to a APS, I learned a lot about my purpose. And I realized quickly that if you have the capacity to love enough, you can make a tremendous difference in a child's life. But I've been totally blessed by my tenure in Atlanta because I was always surrounded by wonderful, caring, competent leadership and caring staff. Oh, but that we have an opportunity, and I promise you I'm stopping. We have an opportunity to tell a new generation of children that the old story may have been one that says you can't because you're a little colored girl, because you're poor, you didn't know who your daddy was, you're, you're this and that and this and that, and you lived on the wrong side of town, or that you are white but you are a girl, or you're Hispanic and we don't really have space for you. We can tell a new generation of children, that's the old story. We are called on to write a new story to embrace our rich history and to give a new generation hope of possibilities and for them to dream big, bold dreams. So I say to Atlanta Public School System today, I'm proud to be a product of this school system. And I come today as we celebrate our history to understand that we have a commitment for our children going forth, because it's not about just this generation of children. As I say all the time, we are making an investment in their children's 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 children for generations yet born. And I thank you for what you've done for me and what you've done for all of us. Thank you very much.